Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in our Sala Music Center. I'm Kevin Barger, um, Director of Music Ministry here in Richmond, Virginia. And we're going to take a look at our hymns that we'll be using in worship tomorrow on our second Sunday of Lent. And we're going to start, we're going to go in order today, Stop the Madness. So we'll start with our gathering hymn, The God of Abraham Praise. This is a version of the Yugdol, a, a Jewish hymn of praise in 13 parts. Thankfully, we're not doing 13 parts. Uh, its author was actually born in Spain, and in 1148, his family left Spain to escape Muslim religious persecution and settled in Morocco. And while he was there, he wrote about the Jewish calendar, um, he studied medicine, and he uh, became a pretty famous doctor, as I recall. And the melody here that you'll hear is actually is a Jewish melody from about the 17th century, so the text and tune um, have been joined together. The God of Abraham prays. Moving on to the hymn of the day, Baptized and Set Free, and this was written for Holden Village, which we've discussed before over there in Washington, and the theme, the year this was written in 1996 was Baptized and Set Free. The hymn focuses on the overflowing abundance of God through baptism, and um, the author likens it to large bodies of water, um, so we only use a little bit of water when we baptize. But the, she's suggesting that oceans, rivers, fountains are just this grand, immerse uh, baptismal body. And the uh, author composer says, quote, Our gracious God gives, gifts us with mercy, love, healing, wholeness, and more than we could ask for or even imagine. Baptized and set free.
feel the water is just flowing over you. Next, we'll go to communion. This is Borning Cry, or I was there to hear your Borning Cry. This is a newer hymn written in 1985, and um, the John Dobbislocker wrote both the text and the tune. He was working for the Media Services Center of the American Lutheran Church at the time, and it was actually written to a different tune, but he realized once he heard it that the words, while were, they were spot on, really didn't work with the music. So he did the unimaginable almost and went and rewrote the entire thing so that the music would better fit the words. I was there to hear your warning cry. Sending him, Lift High the Cross, which we've done um, quite a bit since we started Music Minute. And uh, as we've mentioned before, this is really a processional hymn. It was written as a processional hymn. It could be used in multiple places, of course. Uh, it was attempt, uh, intended to accompany the cross, or the crucifer, as it came forward, which is the two name, crucifer. Music was written originally in the late 1800s. And it was written for the Festival of the Society of the, for the Propagation of the Gospel in Winchester Cathedral in 1887, to be exact. And the crucifixion's victory is at the center of the hymn, for sure. Lift high the cross.
lift high the cross as we uh, head into this uh, second week of Lent. Thanks again for joining us this evening. We're so glad you did, and we hope you'll join us again next week. If you're joining us in person for worship tomorrow at 8.30 or 11, we'd love to see you. And if you're unable to do that, you can catch our live stream at 11 o'clock on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining.